today. From GEHA Field at Arrowhead Stadium in Kansas City. It's the AFC Championship game on EA Sports. We'll see Patrick Mahomes and the Kansas City Chiefs taking on Ryan Tannehill and the Tennessee Titans. EA Sports coverage of the NFL playoffs brings us to Chile, but of course sold out GEHA Field at Arrowhead Stadium in Kansas City. Straight ahead, it's a clash to decide the AFC's representative in the Super Bowl, and it'll be a great one between the Tennessee Titans and the Kansas City Chiefs. Hello, everyone. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gaudin, the postseason. The winner gets a trip to sunny Arizona for Super Bowl 57. The AFC title game is underway. And we will not see a run back on the opening kickoff. This will be a touchback. Here comes the Tennessee offense, and you see Ryan Tannehill leading them out. And we can talk all we want about football being a team game and leaning on different parts and aspects in order to get it done. And that's entirely true during the regular season. Some weeks it's the defense, the special teams running the football. But in the playoffs, all the pressure reverts to the quarterback, and he has to play well and play at a really high level in order for his team to win. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. Second down at four. Play action, it's Tannehill. And that nearly an interception here on his opening drive, but he gets a reprieve. It's third down. Here's Tannehill. And oh, that nearly an opening drive INT, but it does fall incomplete. Not the way he wanted to start this ball game as it brings up fourth down. On fourth down, here's Brett Kern to punt the football away. Tyreek Hill back deep for Kansas City. It'll be a 39-yard punt, no return. And it's Chiefs football, first and 10. Time to see what Patrick Mahomes can do here with his first possession. The quarterback out of Texas Tech getting set to lead this KC Chiefs offense. And when you think of Patrick Mahomes, you start to think about all of his attributes, and you realize very quickly, you can't just put him into one box. No matter how the game proceeds, no matter what is needed, he tends to have an answer for it and plays accordingly. A pass there over the middle to start things out. Yeah, he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right of the yard. And I think this is a route we'll see more of as this game goes on because with his speed, they want to get him the ball in space on drag routes just like this. They want him to get the ball and run after the catch. Good job there, though, holding him for a short gain. They'll run for the first time with Clyde Edwards-Alaire. Decided to hand it off that time on the run pass option. Appeared to be an easy decision. Just gave it inside. Nice steady gain. Mahomes throw caught by his receiver, Hill. And he'll be stopped right at midfield. From midfield, here's Mahomes. Open man is the tight end, Noah Gray. They'll contain him to just four, second down. They fake the give, now Mahomes. And then nearly an interception here on this opening drive, but he gets a reprieve. It's third down. Throwing is Mahomes on third. Gets this into the hands of Gray, the tight end. And he will have a Chiefs first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Nice job keeping that opening drive alive. And they're in plus territory, that part of the field where you really want to convert on third down, they did. Big time pickup for them. And now, I think.
think the aggressive play callers think to themselves, this part of the field, I take my shot at the end zone. Because the closer you get to the end zone, the field can, gets condensed. Makes it a lot tougher to run those routes. You still got a chance to actually run past people right now. Take your shot at the end zone early in the down and distance count. Mahomes firing complete. That was play number seven on this drive, and it got him seven yards. Mahomes taps this forward. It's a jet sweep. Now a look at Smith. Not sure exactly what happened, but he's still down. We'll step aside and get an update when we return to Arrowhead. On first down, Mahomes. Throw over the middle, caught by the tight end, Gray. And he doesn't quite make it, taking it within an eyelash. Dropped at the one. But he did everything but get him in the end zone there. But now they're set up. Golden opportunity. Strong opening drive, and they're knocking on the door. And the way that they did it. Now look where they are on the field, all right? This is naturally set up for a running play, isn't it? But with his ability to throw the football, his accuracy on this drive, you might want to think about a pass play in this situation. Mm, interesting. Time to find out. Edwards Alaire, and he will take it on in for a Chiefs touchdown. Clyde Edwards Alaire taking it in from a yard out. And the Chiefs are on the board first here in this AFC Championship game. So it was the passing game that got him down here, but closer to the goal line, it's the running game that gets him home. Certainly appears that they lulled the defense into thinking that the passing game was going to be it the entire drive. Nice change up there going to the running game to get him over the goal line. Harrison Butker is on for the extra point. And his kick is good to make it 7-0 KC. So that one a pretty time-consuming 10-play drive. And it's capped off by a touchdown run from Clyde Edwards-Hilaire. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And he'll wind up getting a couple extra yards here for his trouble and bringing it out of the end zone as he's down at the 27. The Titans coming back onto the field for their second drive. And a three and out on that first drive. We'll see if they can do better here. They should have a better opportunity because the nerves should be settled now. That first series, everybody goes out of a little extra emotion. So now they get a chance to go back out and say, okay, now we're into the game. Let's go play and play as best we can. You almost get a mulligan then on that first drive. Sometimes it absolutely serves that, that way. You get a second opportunity. Nothing big happened. But then again, you didn't commit any mistakes either. Off you go. That was good, tough running right up the middle. And if the defense can't penetrate and make him slow his pace or change direction, that's often the end result. Derrick Henry. And he's going to be taken down with a marker on the field. So let's see about the call. So following the hold, they're in a bit of a hole here with a first and 20. Tannehill now to throw. And the Chiefs are going to get him. Charles Harris in there to bury him for a loss of 11. And this is what you've got to do against a quarterback like him. You've got to keep him in the pocket and not let him get to the perimeter because once he gets outside, that's where he can really hurt you. After the sack, oh, they're staring at a challenge basically from the other side of town. It's second in a country mile. Another try after the first down set. Under pressure, they got him again. Melvin Ingram 
in there to drop him in sacks on first and second downs. Now leads to a third and long. Well, this is what happens when you get behind the chains, as people like to say, when you have obvious passing situations, hard to vary it up and fool the defense. And you hate those situations if you're an O-lineman, right? Oh, without a doubt, because you just know they're coming, and you never know exactly how. They can be exotic in their blitzes, or their athletic ability just takes over. Need something from deep in the bag of tricks here after first and second down went backwards. It's third and very long. They take a shot downfield there, but it winds up falling incomplete. Here's Brett Kern now as he'll punt it away for the second time. Oh, what a move. They'll score that a 36-yard punt, and the Chiefs will have excellent field position here as they take over. Kansas City taking the field for their second drive. Now they'll be looking to duplicate the efforts of drive number one that resulted in seven points in the seven-zip lead. Well, you know how much I enjoy horse racing, right? Looks like they caught a flyer out of the gate, as they would say when you run in the big-time races. It means they got out to a fast start. They're setting the pace, making the other team chase now. Now a pass that's taken in by Hill. And he's going to get this down near the 30-yard line. You always worry about those smaller receivers running through that gnarly patch of land in the middle of the field. But he did a really nice job there holding on to the football and protected himself as best he could while completing the play. So first and 10 now from the 30. Looking to throw is Mahomes. Wide open receiver complete. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Back to back good plays have him on the move on first down. Now here's Mahomes. Finding Hardman here over the middle. Now after the completion we're going to get a timeout. An injured player. We'll step aside and get an update when we return to KC. So not quite a first and goal just yet as they come up now second and inches. Now Edwards Alaire. And he takes this into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. Clyde Edwards Alaire with his second touchdown in this opening quarter. And the Chiefs lead this now 13-0 here in the opening quarter of the ball game. So two drives, two touchdowns here in this first quarter, and he's got both of them. Well, he's certainly setting himself up for a big game here, and I think if the play caller doesn't get in his own way, they should keep riding him the entire way of this game. Until the defense proves they can stop him, that's what I would call. Butker now to add the extra point. And it's good to make it 14 nothing. A drive there of just four plays. And it's capped off by a touchdown run from Clyde Edwards Alaire. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. No run back here, down to a knee, and this drive will start at the 25. Tennessee offense set to go again. They've shown precious little here offensively thus far as they try again with a first down now. They'll start on the ground. It's Derrick Henry. And he'll power ahead, but only for about three yards. Second down coming up. 14-0 the score. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Here's second and seven now from the 28. Now it's Tannehill. High throw, but he makes the catch. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. 
when you're struggling on offense, you're looking for anything possible to get you going. Sometimes you do it like basketball teams that don't normally press. You put a press on, bring people to life, make them move a little bit quicker. Maybe that'll help them as they head towards the half. On first down, it's Tannehill. And his throw is going to be incomplete. I tell you, Brandon, this defense is playing with some confidence. Haven't allowed a point yet. Flying to the football. I'm telling you, it's almost 11 to the ball on every snap. Another nice job there to force an incompletion. To throw on second and 10. Tannehill. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. Throwing on third down, Tannehill. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Here's Brett Kern now as he's on to punt for Tennessee. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. Watch out for Hill on the return. A pretty good punt there, but also a nice return of 12 yards. And that will come the offense as they take over. The KC offense and Clyde Edwards-Alaire getting the ball back here. And he's found the end zone twice, and now I'm guessing he's thinking, hey, let's find it three times. And you got to figure from the defensive perspective, how has he gotten there twice? What are we going to do to keep him out for a third time? How do we tighten things down? Because he and his offensive mates, they are really in sync right now. That's right, left side to start the drive is complete. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. Play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. Locates Hardman for another catch. And now the ball's out. Fumbled near midfield. And that might be Titan football. It is. Thank goodness for heaters up here. And thank goodness I don't have to carry the football in this game. It's January. It's cold out there. Trying to clutch the football and absorb the hits. Not easily done. Yeah, we saw a product of the elements right there. The Titans set and ready to go on offense. They trail early on the road in the playoffs. Not a great combination as they've got it first and 10. And that nearly intercepted. Oh, the free safety rolling into position almost had it, but it's second down. That was nice work there defensively to force the incompletion. Now, even though this drive started in plus territory, they're still not in field goal range yet. So they can work towards another couple of stops and not allowing that turnover to hurt. To throw once more on second and 10. Tannehill, a fight for the football, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Legereus Sneed. Well, look, we're watching a quarterback here that's obviously been around for a long time. That's a throw he wishes he had back. He certainly does, but as you well know, this is a guy that's used to taking a few chances, used to fitting it into tight windows. These are throws that he's made before. Didn't happen to get it completed in this case. Here's the Kansas City offense now as they get set to take over. And a fumble last time. Ball security. Talk about it all the time in the National Football League. They've got to be better at it on this drive. Don't you think that when every team gets together for the first time, I don't care if it's OTAs, mini camps, first and first day of camp in the regular season, ball security comes up about, what, the second sentence of the coach's yeah. address? And those are so many drills focus on that. All the time, and they do drills to make it even tougher to simulate game situations. Doesn't always work out, though. Now a throw here, hauled in. And he's got this down a yard or two shy of the 40 before he's out of bounds. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. A shotgun snap and a give to Edwards Alaire. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. Here's Mahomes to throw, and this throw incomplete. Now the defender all over him that time, but it's going to lead to third down. As his old brain remembers, when I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender, I know the ball's coming out hot. 
They expected it and got there and popped it free. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. Now Mahomes. And that is incomplete. Oh, he did everything but hold on to it. But a nice play defensively, and now it brings up fourth down. Butker's kick here is good. And the lead will grow. It's now 17-0. So the turnover leads to points as they add three there. Yeah, what a sequence there and a nice one for them. They force the interception, put together a little drive, and then come away with three points. Nothing to it, partner. Just do it. And he brings this out past the 20 to the 24. Time again to see what Ryan Tannehill and the Titans can do. He's got to dig deep here, doesn't he? Team's losing. He's not playing well either. And they always tell you, don't press. You'll make things a little bit worse. But in this particular situation, you try and heighten your play a little bit. So far, he's thrown one interception. He wants to balance that off with at least one touchdown pass in order to get his team back moving forward. A good gain on first. Has him set up with second and just a couple of inches now from the 29. They'll fake the handoff. Now Tannehill. And he's taken down. A cheap sack. Melvin Ingram picks up his second sack of the afternoon. But he continues, Charles, to be under constant pressure. These sacks, they're starting to pile up. And if they want to have a realistic chance in this one, they've got to change their blocking assignments. They've got to do a better job to keep him upright. If he's going to be on the deck constantly, they've got no chance to win this game. The Titans on third down, 0 for 3 to this point. They could use a conversion. This will be third and five. Tannehill. Short little throw to Ebron. And he gets this up to the 34 out of bounds there. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Back to throw, Tannehill. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. Second and 10, Tannehill once more. To the right side to Eric Ebron. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. The Titans on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. Here it's third and three. Now we've got movement up front. I think this is gonna be on the Titans. That was a third and somewhat manageable, now not so manageable. Exactly, because you had a play call on that you felt like, hey, this could go quick, and it doesn't take much to get it done. Now, you got to start thinking about a little bit of a deeper route type of a call, especially if you want to throw it. And this is going to be incomplete. This offense has definitely been slow getting out of the gate. It's almost like they missed their wake-up call for this one. No points on their first two possessions, and now it's looking like none on this one either. Here's Brett Kern now as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10, right at the 30. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. That's out to Hill, right side complete. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. Looking to throw again on second down. Mahomes leaping and he makes the grab. AFC title game, second quarter action. Two minutes to play. A reminder, as we've done all year, we'll send you to Orlando for our EA Sports Halftime Report in a bit. The coach is with us per usual. As we start to look ahead, Charles, to our potential matchups in this year's Super Bowl. Break it down, coach. Break it down. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. So many times in my career, I've heard coaches talk about completions are one thing. But as long as we're there at the catch and we get guys on the ground, we can live with that. But if you're going to give up 10, 12, 15 yards after the catch, then your defense is going to be in a lot of trouble. Mahomes. 
Mahomes now on first down. That one complete to Hill. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Here's second at a yard. And again, it's Mahomes. He'll get it once more into the hands of Hill. And the Chiefs are going to have a first and goal as he'll be taken down at the seven-yard line. Boy, how about the speed with which this offense can get down the field? It's taken them no time at all to get down here. And now they're set up for the first and goal. Here's first and goal. And gosh, points here. A chance maybe to put this thing away before halftime. And now before this first down play, we're going to get a timeout here. As he'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. Mahomes now to throw. And he's got it. Touchdown, Chiefs. Noah Gray there to make the grab. And the Chiefs continue to show why it pays to play at home in the postseason as they add on to their lead. They have really had their way so far in the first half, but they wanted to continue to build on their lead. They know that no lead is safe in this league, so they decided to try their best to get one more as they headed into the half, and they got it done. Butker on for the PAT. And the lead is now 24. That time, a six-play drive. And it winds up with the Chiefs hitting Painter. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. A.J. Brown and the Titans getting the ball back here. A chance maybe here for them to get him more involved. They're down here on the scoreboard, and he's been very quiet. And the silence has been deafening for his team. They don't need that at all. They need fireworks. They need explosive plays. They need him touching the football in any way possible. Maybe go to some jet sweeps. Anything to get him going. There's something to get him the ball. We'll see if they can do it. On second and ten. Tannehill and this all oh, incomplete he tried to check it down to his running back and nearly had the ball picked on third down Henry and they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44 the Titans going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half on first and 10 Tannehill and he'll get this underneath to Henry. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Now Tennessee going to use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 37 seconds to play in this first half. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. Now that's the kind of big play you'd like to see. This first half, it hasn't gone their way, and they could use a shot in the arm, something to perk them up a bit, and they get one here in the passing game. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Here's Tannehill. Short little throw to Ebron. Now a signal and a timeout call as it comes with nine seconds to go in this first half of play. So on second down, the field goal unit is on here as they try to get three before half. It's a 39-yard attempt right hash. And his kick is right there. It's good. And they get a little bit closer here as the lead's down to three touchdowns. Well, the good news, at least they won't take that goose egg into the locker room, maybe a little something to build on. Yeah, it hasn't been the greatest of first halves for them, has it? But at least now, as you mentioned, they put some points on the board. And it's been funny in our experience watching games, sometimes something as little as a field goal could change the fortunes of the team, and they could come out and look real sharp in the second half. 
He'll take the knee in the final couple seconds. will tick by in this first half. So we are halfway home to figuring out who will represent the AFC in the Super Bowl. As we send you down to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks as always. One half remains in the battle to see who will take home the Lamar Hunt Trophy in just a moment. But first, time to look ahead to the NFC Championship coming up later today. And it should be a great one as well, as it's going to be the Tampa Bay Buccaneers taking on the Green Bay Packers. So with that, let's get you right back out for the second half and the right to represent the AFC in the Super Bowl, as I'm privileged to hand things back over to Brandon God. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. One more half to decide who takes home the Lamar Hunt Trophy as we're back underway in this AFC Championship. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. Here comes the Chiefs offensive unit as they'll have it to begin quarter number three. And they have made this look easy. I mean, there's not supposed to be anything easy about the NFL playoffs, but this lead, yes, they're at home, but this has been impressive. And we hear all the time when upsets happen, teams go on the road, that maybe home field advantages and all it's cracked up to be. But you and I both know the reality is teams really fight hard to get it. Why? You don't ever have to change routine. Everything's familiar going into the game. It makes things easier. And that has paid off for them in a big way in this contest. And while we may be looking at the scoreboard, this offense certainly is not because they're showing no signs of backing down, even with a three-score lead here in the third quarter. I think they keep taking their shots. They've seen blown leads happen throughout this league. They don't want to fall victim to it themselves. Took just one play to move all the way to the 44 as they try again on first down. Edwards Alaire as they run out of the gun. And he'll work this forward for about three at second down. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. From the gun, it's Mahomes. Pressure comes, and the Titans able to bring him down. Jeffrey Simmons. It'll go as a loss of about eight as he gets in there to drop him. It seemed like he kept going through those progressions, and I thought he might dump that underneath, but he couldn't get rid of the football in time. And I have to wonder if he was thinking while he was back there, I wish there were a lot less progressions on this play, just someone that I could dump the ball to and get it out of my hands. Going to need better protection here. Third and long following the sack from Mahomes and company. He'll drop to throw. And that will be incomplete. And now following the incomplete pass, we'll get a timeout here for an injured player. We'll step aside and get an update when we return to Arrowhead. Here's the Chiefs punter now. And the way this offense has moved the ball, he hasn't been needed till here in the third. So a change of possession here on the punt, and it'll be Titan football. And now Ryan Tannehill becomes the focus of our player's spotlight. And I guess the question, Charles, is what's the formula for keeping him better protected? Because as we see, the protection, it's struggle. And normally what you get is renewed determination. When the, when the big guy gets hit, that usually sparks people. Hey, we can't let this happen anymore. They take it personally. He's not supposed to be on the ground, but that hasn't been the case so far in this game. So maybe they've got to figure out how do they get rid of the ball faster to help out the offensive line so he doesn't get hit as much. And we'll see if they can keep him off the ground now going forward. Henry again on second down. And this one will go to the 28-yard line. First down carry for Henry. And they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and ten. On second down, it's Henry. Now this will go for five up to the 33. 
I think we can safely say that those types of plays are the backbone of this offense. We know not every run's going to be a big hitter, but you know they'll take that type of result on each and every attempt. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. Caught on the right side by Jones. And he will have a Titans first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, we talk all the time about playing situational football, and right now I think the scoreboard is dictating what they need to do. Where they are in this game, they've got to push the ball downfield, take their shots, try and get big chunks of yardage in a short amount of time. That was a nice play there. Couple of first downs to kick off the drive. Here's first and 10 up at the 46. Tenth carry now for Derrick Henry. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 45-yard line. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. With his size, he's a tough man to bring down, but they do a nice job there stopping his progress and not allowing him to get back to the line of scrimmage. Looking at a second and 11 now after the loss. And they went the wrong way there. Losing yardage back at the 43-yard line. It'll be a loss of a full three yards there, and it also brings up third down. Well, we saw a lot of negative plays that resulted in plenty of lost yardage in the first half, and that trend is continuing here. last two plays indicative of how things have gone for them. Just nowhere to go on the ground and struggling to put up points. Ebron with it over the middle. And this won't be enough. A good secure tackle and they stop him a few yards shy at the 46. They do get 12 but they'll be marked short. And that leads to a fourth down. But well, it looks like they got what they wanted. They got the completion, but they weren't able to break any tackles or gain nearly enough yardage to pick up the first down. Now to be fourth and short. Here's Brett Kern now, as he's on for the fifth time here today. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. And this will be out of bounds at the what here? The 12-yard line. And Kansas City's offense now set and ready to go. They're out in front. Last time they had to punt it away. We'll see if they can add to their lead now. They don't want to go out and, and punt it away again. This team now wants to get a cushion, put people away. They want to run their offense and have it end up in the end zone. On first and 10, here's Mahomes. He'll find his running back, Edwards Alaire. And that's good for a gain of six, and it'll be a second down. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. I think you and I were both raised the same way in the game of football. You run to set up the pass, but I think we've discovered in this NFL, a lot of teams pass to set up the run, and that's what they've done throughout this game. They've aired it out, thrown it around the yard. Now they've come back to the running game, and they find a way to be successful with it. Mahomes now on first down. Gets this one to Hill. And they're able to get this one across the 35. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Throwing now is Mahomes. They'll set up the screen to Edwards Alaire. And he'll get up to the 43-yard line. The first down screen pass, good for five. Throwing again on second down. Mahomes, and he's dropped just before the line to gain. Four-yard pickup leaves him with third and one. One quarter remains until we crown the AFC champion. This is the National Football League on EA Sports.
The Chiefs on third down. Just one for three thus far. They're up against a third and one situation. Edwards Alaire, they'll try to run for it. And he has the first down yardage before they bring him down right at the 45. Brandon, when a defense just simply can't get off the field on third down, and we all know how important that down is for both sides of the ball, you often feel like you're just a step behind whatever they're doing offensively. And one of the differences in this game, no doubt, third down conversion, and that is going to be a story they'll talk about after this one. So operating from Tennessee territory now, here's first and 10 at the 45-yard line. They'll run, it's Edwards Alaire. And he'll maneuver his way forward for about four. Second and six. The run got four, now they deal with a second and six. Now a carry for Edwards Alaire. And he is gonna get this close to the first down marker as he's brought down at the Titans 35. They'll try and pick up the first with Gore. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. Starting to look like this drive that may be the final nail in the coffin. Well, this is why you work out so hard, right? This is why you spend all that time in the offseason. This is why you have those OTAs and mini camps for these situations, these scenarios, to run someone into the ground and secure a victory. First and 10, it's Edwards Allaire with it. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again, second and 10. Now they'll throw with Mahomes. And that falls to the ground, incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively, and now it brings up third down. Well, this drive, they're a perfect two of two on third down conversions, but they need a full 10 yards here. On third down, here's Edwards Hilaire. And that's not going to get it done. He'll come up well short of the first at about the 21. Just a yard on the run there. That's going to bring us to a fourth down. Not a whole lot there. The defense was ready, it looked, for that run pass option. You get the sense that next time he has that opportunity, he may keep it himself and get to the perimeter. Probably owes his back a little bit of an apology on that one. Huh? So out comes a field goal team now for the second time here today. He hit his first, this one from 38. Butker's kick here is good. And that will extend the lead out to 24. three more points and that widens this thing out even further here in the fourth and you know in this league you can never have enough points but this widens it out as you said and now it's all about ball control isn't it the return man down to a knee and this will come out to the 25 yard line the titans offense now they get set to head back out here and their dream of a super bowl berth so close three quarters ago but obviously starting to slip away if it hasn't already they need points here and in a hurry on first down, Tannehill. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. Well, this game was decided a while ago, and that completion there, it's going to artificially inflate his passing numbers. So right now, the only one really applauding probably his agent as he thinks about angling for a new contract. The big play to start him out. Has him at the 45 already. Here's Tannehill. Oh, he dropped it. And that's pretty indicative of the way this one's gone. Back to the air. Tannehill on second down. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Jennings. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. Throwing again is Tannehill. 
And that incomplete nearly intercepted. And remember, he had his hands on one earlier, had one pick. It could have been his second, but instead, it's fourth down. Desperation time for Tannehill on fourth down. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. The Titans try it, but ultimately they fail on fourth down. And the Chiefs will have the football back in excellent field position. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. They'll run here with Edwards Hilaire. And he's going to get this one down near the 45-yard line. Now third down is looming. A pickup of two on first down and just one yard there. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. Throwing is Mahomes on third. And oh, that's going to wind up incomplete. Nearly their first pick of the game, but it does bring up fourth down. He's lucky to be getting that one back. After what they've done with him all day long with all the targets trying to go after him, he's obviously gotten smart, and his pride has kicked in. Made a terrific play. And no return here. Where will they spot it? They say just outside the 20-yard line. Here's Tennessee ready to begin this drive offensively. Now their back's really against the wall now. They knew how tough this would be on the road, AFC title game, and they have gotten all they could handle and then some. Now a first down throw, Tannehill. Complete, it's Henry. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. From the gun, here's Tannehill. A gain of eight there on the play. And it'll be third down. And he drops it incomplete. And their struggles continue here. Third and two, Tannehill. And this is caught, it's Brown. And they've got it well across midfield, down to the 40 before it's all said and done. And this one nearly picked off. And kind of surprising to see a defender of his caliber let it get away, but get away it does, and it's second down. Again, Tannehill. This will go to Henry out wide. And this time not quite to the 30. It'll be down at the 31-yard line. Now you've got to hustle your guys to the line and get them set. That's into a crowd and intercepted. Picked off by Legere Sneed. And the Chiefs are going to get the football here at their own 23. And that one, Charles, is just going to about wrap up what was no doubt a dominating defensive performance. Yeah, I don't care what team it is. I don't care who you play, whether they're strong offensively or not. Just giving up three points in the NFL, that's absolutely a dominant performance and one that they can build on. KC's offense ready to take over. They are getting closer and closer to lifting that Lamar Hunt trophy. Not home just yet, but trying to polish things off here as they start first and 10. And this will go as a gain of seven as he gets it to the 30-yard line. That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead, positive gain. Just keep that clock ticking. The Chiefs are AFC champs as we say good night, everybody. Champions.